Raising the curtain on Bundesliga match day 29, a clash of two sides with Europe on the mind as Freiburg welcomed Bayer Leverkusen to the charming Schwarzwaldstadion for a clash under the Friday night lights. Can Freiburg avoid going four games without a win for the first time in a high-flying season that has hit some turbulence? Or will Bayern Ulfir maintain their impressive form in the Black Forest as they look to bounce back from an untimely humbling in midweek? So Grifo to take again. He has had a hand in five of Freiburg's last seven goals. Plenty to aim for, and again it drops in such a dangerous area. Chance still alive. Radetzky with the punch clear. And because Peterson is going to the near post, it takes already takes two Leverkusen players out of the game because they're all concentrating on, on um, Peterson for said place. Does look like they will be maintaining the stalemate as we approach half time. And that will give Christian Streich a chance to go in at the break and maybe tweak a few instructions here and there. But for now, Shalai trying to release Hurler. The offside flag has stayed down for now. He's one on one with Rudetschke and he's put it wide. Wow. Well, he scored his first goal since December against Frankfurt last time out. This time, the chance goes unpunished. Perfectly timed ball. It's not offside. Great chance. But Rudetschke, as a goalkeeper, he makes himself big. He stays up really high. Makes it difficult for him to, to hit the target. He had so much time there, Hurler. He even had time to look up and see whether the offside flag had gone up against him. But what a chance that was, right on the stroke of half time, for Freiburg to spring a surprise. It's that chance that they've been waiting all half for, Torsten. Ta Dragovic, Sven Bender, all in the mix to attack this delivery. And again, it's Sven Bender getting his head to the ball. Right now, he's proving Leverkusen's most potent attacking threat in this game. <laughs> yeah. That's what he's there for. You've got to hit the ball over Peterson there. Oh, Baumgartling with the flick on! Well, it didn't beat the first man, but this time Baumgartling had got in front of Peterson to make a difference. Well, that's the other option you've got, <laughs> obviously. It was a great flick on, and then anything can happen. Unlucky there that... Um, he caught, um, he caught Arangis by surprise. Yeah, that was a difficult one for the Chilean yeah. right back. They've now moved to a back three tonight, and now Bailey trying to make something happen. Oh, that's a nice little reverse pass for Harvitz, and somehow it sneaks in past Schwallow. Kai Harvitz writes his name further into the Bundesliga record books. 35 goals scored before his 21st birthday, a first in Germany's top flight for one of the rising stars of German football. Yeah, but look at this. Again, two touch, two touch, and then Bailey with a the composure there. Um, and this is what he's good at. Keeping the composure down into the channel, and then here Harvard does what he does. Look there, Harvard, he's seen the space, and then he goes full speed into it. Little one touch. But the anticipation of Harvard in this situation to go to make this run is just brilliant. And then obviously it's lucky to get through the legs, but brilliant goal. It is the breakthrough that Bayer Leverkusen have been waiting for. And his fine goal scoring form continues. And now he's looking to get Vitz involved. Vitz goes for goal. Decent strike. But another Bundesliga record will have to wait for now. <laughs> yeah, but it's just a joy to watch these two players. Um, they are younger than um, than anyone else on the pitch with 20 and uh, 17 years of age. If they are attacking the Freiburg players, they will have some space on that side because Bailey doesn't really like to track back. Oh, it's a shot and I tell you what, that was a whisker away from Jonathan Schmid, the man you were just talking about. Chances his arm from range and Radetzky was worried. Yeah, it took a little deflection and two. I think he had it covered, boy, it was a good, really good effort. 
I reckon this has got Johnny Schmidt's name written all over it. I think it's got Günther into the um, far side. Ooh, so that's my because I think he can hit it with pace, and because the two players, uh, three three players from the Freiburg side lined up. Well, only one of us can be right, Torsten. It is Schmidt though, and it's off the wall. It should have been Günther then. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the way to put it. I won't. I won't brag too much. Yeah, that is always priority number one for Freiburg, and what a ball that is! And another Peterson with the chance, and Radetzky with the save. Yeah, I tell you what, Peterson won't be happy with the service from Günther because there wasn't enough um, pace on the ball from Günther. It was a good idea. Oof. Hint of an offside. It would have been, yeah. Um, it's behind him as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a great idea and fair play to Günther to see um, to pick him out there. It's got to be a more forward forward pass. And then Peterson got everything, all the chances he needs, uh, all the, the options he's got. Yeah, there was a big puff of the cheeks there from yeah. Kerem Demirbay, yeah. who was sat behind the goal. He knew what a good chance it was, and Christian Streich certainly did. And points were hard come by tonight for Freiburg. It's a fourth game in a row without a win, as Peter Boss and Bayer Leverkusen celebrate. Kai Havertz once again the match winner. It finishes Freiburg nil, Leverkusen won. For the best soccer content anywhere on the internet, follow Fox Soccer on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.